is Talk Cards. Let me uh, make sure my butt's not hanging out. All right. Oh, I got to fix my shirt so my fat belly's not. Jeez. Oh, you broke it. I think, I think I broke your seat. We got a fatty over here. Well, on that note, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> No, welcome back. <laughs> oh, welcome back, everybody. You can't cut it short today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't cut it short because we haven't done this for a couple weeks. Yeah, we've been on uh, hiatus, vacation, siesta for like two weeks. <laughs> siesta. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-week siesta. Man. Or a fiesta. We're partying for two weeks. It wasn't much of a party. No. No, we've just been really busy with other schedules and stuff like that. So, Dealing with allergies. School. You know. All the good stuff. Yep. But here we are, back with episode 17. I think so. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I lost track. Back with the, back next, with the episode. next episode, guys. <laughs> so, should we get it going? Yep, let's go. Okay. Buckle up. Okay. <laughs> now that you're safe, I I mean, I think the biggest news since we have since we took our break has been the Nissan 400Z. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have mixed opinions. I do too. Okay. So let's discuss these. Okay. What about you? What are your thoughts on that 400Z? It looks sick. I haven't really like went in detail and like looked at it. Okay. So I'll start off and I love how simple it is. Mm -hmm. Very simple. It's just a basic, honestly, it reminds me of like the BRZ. Mm -hmm. They say that it's going to compete with the Supra speed wise, performance wise, but with the simplicity of a BRZ, yeah, there's just no frills. There's no the crazy body, body is lines. Basic, yeah. yeah. So that is one pro for me is it's it's simple. Yeah, they they didn't try to overstyle it, but also their styling is a bit off. I think there's a few things that I wish would change. Okay, what's that? One of them, and I know that I think it was the 240 that had the slanted fair lady. Yeah. The emblem of the on emblem. the trunk. On the trunk, on the passenger side, yeah. at a diagonal. It just almost doesn't fit with that. Yeah, I mean, it's, in my opinion, it's cool that they brought that back from the 240. Yeah. Put the fair lady. But it looks a little strange. And then the symbol, the Nissan symbol, yes. in the tail lights, in between the tail lights. Yep. For some reason, I felt like it shouldn't have been there. Yeah. I. It looked like the back of Ty's Titan. Yes. Like the symbol is just huge right in the middle. And I don't know. It took a lot of attention away from how cool I thought the taillights were. Yeah. I honestly think that if they got rid of that Nissan emblem in the middle and just kept the Fair Lady up there, even though it's kind of odd. Yeah. But if they got rid of that Nissan symbol, it would look a hundred times better. What do you think of the back lights? I was a little iffy on it, but then... The tail lights? Yes, the back lights. Um, I think they're cool. I like them actually. The more that I looked they, at them, they're very thin. They are very thin, but they resemble the 300 ZX, mm-hmm. which I think is cool. They've taken all these old styling cues from the original. From Z's. yeah, 240, 300, all that kind of stuff. But also the body shape of the new 350Z, 370Z. Yeah, pretty cool. What else don't you like? I hate 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 i know where the this front is going grill. Yep, i knew it i hate the square front grill what really? you don't like the round front and then this big old rectangular Boxy. it's okay so this ruined it for me i i was kind of like it's a stupid box they should have rounded it out a bit made it a little bit smaller and i was like whatever i'll deal with it mm-hmm. not that i'm gonna get one but i can deal with the look yeah I'll, it'll be fine you know it's not like the supra ugly yeah mm-hmm it's just an ugly square. But then I was driving along, and I saw a Nissan Maxima with that square front really? end. And I was just like, oh, nope. this just ruined no. it for me. It just destroyed it. I hate that front end because that's what it reminds me of. It's a Maxima. It's a Maxima. Yeah. So they need to do something about it. And luckily, this is going to be a highly modified car. A lot oh, of people absolutely. are going to modify it. I've already seen renders of people changing, changing that, that front end. And it does. It looks great. Good. The other thing I hate, the front lights. Yeah, they're not my favorite. They're basic. They, I mean, the car is basic, mm-hmm. and that's great. But the front lights look like they almost took it from 
one of their lower end cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they are different and they're brand new, but there's nothing cool about them. But this is a Z. Yeah. And it's pretty much a baby GTR in yeah. the sense that it is a turbocharged six cylinder. Correct. They they haven't officially announced what it's yeah. going to be, what engine it is, but it, you're right. It's probably going to be six cylinder well, turbocharged. When you think of the 370Z, yeah. it was a. It was pretty much the same engine out of the GTR without the turbos on it. Right. This is going to be either similar or just a little bit more advanced. The lights of the 350G were great. 350G. 350G. (laughs) 350Z. GZ, whatever. 370Z, the lights were fantastic. They were that cool cut. And I think that they should have kept that. Instead, they went with these stupid, ovally round shapes, and it just didn't, it doesn't fit. For some reason, it reminded me of the Fiat 124. Yes, that's exactly what came to it my mind. It looks like the Fiat 124. Like yep. It's just the oval yeah. bean-looking things. Uh, yeah. My favorite was during their little present. Not It wasn't even a presentation, but their little like, press release thing. Yeah. They were like, oh, this brand new technology interior where they have two screens. And I'm like, that's not <laughs> yeah, brand new. Nope. People have been doing that. For a while, I think Doug I don't even talked, Doug DeMiro talked about this where he's like, automakers have been doing this for like eight years. Yeah. Where have you guys been? Like brand, I mean, granted, Nissan is very, very far behind. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, with that being said, do you think the new 400Z will save Nissan? No. I don't think so. I think and it will. Here's the reason why. Listening to Doug, and even before I listened to Doug, I, I just, I have this gut feeling like, they aren't going to bring back the GTR. No. I think we may have seen the last GTR for quite a while, and that hurts. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd rather have a GTR. And even if it was a GTR and they were able to make it cheaper. Yeah. I mean, they've had this technology around, and it really probably doesn't cost that much to make one. No. If they made that GTR cheaper to compete with C8 down to $60,000, exactly, it would be game changing for nissan update agreed. the technology you've got a winner right there agreed especially with the the crazy like dual clutch that it has that absolutely. probably outbeats that c8 absolutely dual clutch. i think that nissan really does need to stray away from every car yep i mean you look at what their top sellers are and it's weird to say but the gtr is probably one of their biggest hits and it's their most expensive mm-hmm. just because Everyone knows the GTR yeah. as a good performance car. Yeah. They did a good job with it. The rest of their vehicles have not been even close to being like subpar no. compared to its competitors mm-hmm. at least. Well, I think that it was said the best by Doug when he said Nissan makes rental cars. They do. That is true. They're cheap. They're crap cars. They're that's it. They, I mean, they, yeah. It's they have gone to where Hyundai was in the early 2000s exactly that's exactly right they used to make great vehicles and they just didn't keep up with technology keep up with Mm. they're still using that crap cvt and i think it's really bit them and i don't think that this 400z is going to save them no there is one thing one benefit to the 400z compared to its competitor of the super that i can see right now and i know this is going to change but the 400Z comes with a manual transmission. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is fantastic. They have announced, Toyota did say something they about They did say possibly... that they were going to do a manual Supra. But why that wasn't a launch edition yeah. thing yeah. beats me. Why would you make a Supra without a manual transmission? Yep. Every car enthusiast knows that the manual transmission is the way to go. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a constant thing. You always hear them talking, oh, I would love to get this 300ZX, yes, but this is the automatic version. I want the manual version. And that's the same with, with every car enthusiast pretty much is they always want yeah. the manual transmission. Save the manuals. That's right. Exactly. So the fact that it has taken this long for them to actually release that manual, and it's not even officially announced, I yeah. don't think. I don't. It's crazy. So... I mean, the 400 has it beat there, I guess. Yeah, but I still don't think it's enough to save them. No, I don't think it will be either. I don't think that, I mean, I don't know what the price point for the 400Z was. 
it was like 40s i think high 40s probably yeah and that i mean but i don't think that's i don't think that's worth it in my in my opinion no you can get a used gtr for that much yeah oh yeah so i right. would rather pick up a 2009 gtr with 60 70 thousand miles on it than probably get that 400z sadly or buy a hellcat or buy mm-hmm. a hellcat the new uh charger hellcat red eye just released its its price at eighty thousand starting which that's pretty good considering yeah. that's the red eye and this is the charger so it's the five is it are they st- they're not calling it the red eye anymore it's called the super stock now right i think this one was still is called still the red, red eye? eye interesting i don't know i i mean you could get a, a used hellcat for 40 grand oh yeah easy and just any day yeah it would be so much more fun than a 400z i think yeah i think so too of course <laughs> sarah and i were talking about this earlier and we were listening to some subaru with its turbo blow off and yeah then, stuff like that she's just like that's a turbo i'm like yeah doesn't sound very good does it like I, don't get me wrong turbos sound pretty cool yeah the whistle whine you know whatever but a supercharger but whine oh, yeah. to a super just dominates yeah definitely i have really become like a muscle head uh-huh. mm-hmm. i love a supercharger whine i love the deep v8 it's so cool so that's why i need to get like a sls that's what i was just thinking. v8 but it's also like this luxury this kind of like elegant almost. yeah super unique looking car yeah definitely Heck yeah and you get to open your doors like this yes best part that's the best billionaire door right there gullwing i think is the coolest door. going is the best door it's the dumbest the ones that go up like this uh-huh yeah like delorean style oh, yeah. or the sls amg like don't get me wrong scissor doors awesome I would love to have some butterfly doors. Cool. I would love to have that. But gull wing that you're going straight yeah, up. Yeah, there's something about that. It's, I'm sure it's super hard to use and it just yeah. sucks. Getting and out. You wish you had a normal door. I've heard that they're heavy up. too. Oh, I bet they would be. So, but still, you yeah, open a door up. there's something about it. <laughs> Even the Aventador doors are hard. Like yeah. when you pop them open, they have to like push You got to push with your yeah. arm up. Just go get you a, a Model X. Model X? Yeah, that's the one. They all do it for you. The back ones. Uh, yeah. I, I don't, don't want a Tesla. No, no more electric either. brothers talk cars, please. Oh. No. Really? We we have some electric news uh, though. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh so not a lot of people know of this company. Um it's actually based out of Utah, made in Provo. Oh Utah. Heck yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the best electric news that okay, we've had. Well, that's true. In my opinion, for right now at least, at yep. least on this episode. Welcome to Brothers Talk Electric Cars. Um <laughs> anyway, so this company, not a lot of people will probably know the mm. name of. Uh Jay Leno has one. They're about thirty thousand dollars, but they're completely unique, and you have to have a motorcycle license to drive it. Oh, it's a Vanderhall. Yeah. <laughs> so they used to make these things called like the Venice and the Edison or something like uh-huh. that, and they're these little three wheel cars. Well, they introduced that they are making an electric SUV. Not just any SUV, an adventure. An adventure. Vehicle, yeah. Have they made which... anything like this before? No. No. Like they is have... this their first like. Yes, this four wheel they've thing. never yeah. made anything with four wheels. Yeah, everything's always been the three wheel, like Venice looking thing. Huh. But the the announcement of it was pretty funny. They had one of their little three wheel cars, kind of like going off road, and then it like parks in this garage, and a wall crushes it. Big old and cement then, wall, just yeah, <laughs> big old cement wall crushes it, and then this electric SUV just climbs over it, and it has a pre installed light bar. It is. It's pretty yeah. cool looking. What is this called? The Navarro or something like that. That's actually sick. The Vander. But I also can't really look at it because it's not loaded. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's like a Navarro. It's like a Navarro. What is it called? Nav- I don't know. Looks like a UTV type thing. Well, it's like I said, they call it an adventure vehicle. Yeah. Oh, so it is. It can be like a UTV side by side. I don't know. It's like a doom buggy thing, like a big, I th- a big boy I think doom it's going to be street legal. Maybe. I, I assume it will be. That's crazy looking though. But it has like the, the Senna cut out on the yeah. door. Yeah. The back of it. Is... Or like same as the Bronco now. Oh, yep. yeah. 
So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Do you think this is the right move for them? I mean, you're coming into a brand new market. Do you think you go straight for one of the hardest markets, adventure vehicles? That's what I'm worried about, honestly, because the electric SUV market is super popular right now. Yes. A lot of people are putting money into the electric SUV. This is completely different, though. I think this is in its own category because this is like complete off-road vehicle. Like Ty was saying, it's like a UTV-looking thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, their car is originally they're unique they obviously sell enough that they've been around for a while like i said jay leno has one yep but they're not popular no i i mean living in utah county where this company is based out of in my lifetime i've only seen like maybe four yeah did you say jay, jay leno has a vanderhall or one of the new he has things? he has one of the three wheel vanderhall yes. okay he has one. yeah he has like the edison black edition or something like that this I think this will help increase their popularity. Mm-hmm. I think it'll get their name out there. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure if it'll do super well, but people will know the Vanderhall name because they don't really know it now. I've yeah. brought it up to people who are car enthusiasts who live here, who live here, and they're like, a "What? Yeah." And I'm a Vanderhall. Are they only made nope. in Utah? Yep. Yeah. Provo, okay. Utah. It's made in Provo. So, so here's my thoughts on it. An adventure vehicle. You own one, off-road capable. Mm-hmm. You've got plenty of storage space to put extra gas, tires, yeah. all that kind of stuff. What do you do with electric? Are you going to carry extra batteries? Like, yeah, are I you going to carry a solar panel so you can just keep going? That's going to be oh. the thing: is to really utilize it as an offlander. Yeah. Like, if I were to take my FJ out, it wouldn't be difficult for me. Right. It's big enough. I can carry extra gas. And it has a good enough range. Yes. An electric SUV, you got to think it's going to be sitting in potential cold where that drains the battery, heat where that drains the yep. battery, driving to your destination to even off-road. Yep. Are there going to be, usually to go off-roading, you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Are there going to be charging stations <laughs> along the way? Probably not. That's the thing that I'm worried about. Yep. Is in theory it's good but i almost feel like it's going to be something you're going to have to put on a trailer take to your destination and use it there yeah and it's not going to be oh you know let's go down this 400 mile trail yeah over the next seven days because that's just not going to happen no it's not it's going to be a a day thing yep let's go out we've got 200 miles that's it yeah and i've got to find a charging spot i think it's going to be very capable though because Absolutely. of the instant torque that it has, yeah, I I don't see any issue with it being complete, and just the looks of how big these tires are and everything. Yeah. I I think it'll be fully capable, other than the battery being its limitation. Yeah, true. So, true. Anyway, okay. Any more electric car news before we move on? Uh, I know Rivian just did a test with the R one T truck. They yep. pulled 11,000 pounds across the hardest part of the United States. And I guess the temperature was like 118 degrees just to, you know, really put it to the test. Yeah. Didn't Once Inside just do that with their X or something like that? I have no idea. I think they took it like Nevada or something like that. Yeah. It was 120 degrees. Ooh, or yeah. So. They drove it there all day. But other than that, I think that is all, unless you guys want to bring up the new electric F-150 that the front is just really ugly. No, Ooh. we're good. Okay, Don't well, care. I just brought it up, and now we're moving on because it's very ugly. I did screenshot this earlier in the week. It said, Tesla Model Y owners find cooling system cobbled together with Home Depot grade fake this. wood. I saw this. So it has, like, these metal straps that are supposed to hold it in place. Yeah. But they're supposed to have these little, like, spacers so that it doesn't rub against your, your battery pack or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, they were. There was one that looked like someone took a freaking butter knife. I saw pictures of it. Someone took like a butter knife and sawed it off because you could see all the jagged edges, Jeez. just so that it wouldn't it wouldn't rub. But it's like the wood trim that goes on a corner. Yeah, no, a, this isn't wall. even like quality wood trim or anything. This no. is just like the super cheap. Yeah, cutting corners, but yeah. yet they're still cool, charging <laughs> you fifty five thousand for it. Yeah, there's. There's something wrong with There's that. There's some severe things. Like I think I, I think their focus is elsewhere now. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
I, I honestly think that Tesla's only going to be around for a little bit longer as a car company, and then they're going to be out. Yeah, right Un- when the until all these the other Cybertruck comes out next year. I don't yeah, think it's going down. I honestly don't know if we're going to see probably not mass production of the Cybertruck. Yeah, we'll see a few out, but I they're just struggling with everything. Yeah, their cars are really going of course, downhill. I did see Elon post something about battery technology. I think he said like the twenty second or the twenty eighth. Yeah, we're going to release something about battery technology. And I hope that it's this amazing thing that's a game changer for electric mm-hmm. cars. Yeah. But I don't think it will be. Probably not. I think it's going to be something that Rivian and, um, and Nikola. Nikola and Lucid, I think it's stuff that they already know. And Lotus. Even freaking Lotus. Yeah. Lotus, who hasn't really done anything for years. Yeah. They're coming out with a freaking showstopper yeah. of a car, too. A car that's going to charge. Yeah. I just... Save this. The, the back of, of it is or so oh. wild. It is. Yeah. So it's wild. It shows the front of it. Oh, yeah. Right there. I think when <sighs> that comes out, with how fast it charges, with how fast it's going to be, with, I think that's going to be the game changer mm-hmm. for electric cars. Okay. So I know we were just talking about um, previously about off-land cars or mm-hmm. off-road cars, whatever. Kia has started talking about making... An off-road vehicle to so compete it, with the Land Cruiser. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is this when, like when Hyundai came out and came out with the, the no. poorest? <laughs> the poorest. No. <laughs> no. So it, Kia's coming out with a yeah. Offlander. So it looks like a Telluride. Or Overlander. Overlander, whatever you want to call it. It looks like a Telluride, and that's what I assume it is. But it's got, like, light bars on it. It's got. So it's probably lifted. Has some skid plates. Yeah, skid oh, plate on the front. Big skid plates. It looks. So that's like a. That's actually runner, kind of pretty cool like looking. Runner. It does look pretty good. I love the look of the Telluride. Mm-hmm. It kind of, from this, it kind of looks like a hammerhead shark. Yeah. yeah. It looks cool. Like with the the lights, yeah. it kind of looks like a hammerhead. But it does. It's got some big skid plate. A double light deck. bars. Yeah, that's. Some big tires. I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. As long as it's not the Palisade, so you don't get a weird smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. If you don't get that joke, go watch uh, episode yeah, you're sixteen. Have to go back at sixteen, I think, or fifteen. I don't know. One of them. Go watch them all. Okay. So along with that, Hyundai has also said, "Oh, we're going to make it off-road, but this is going to be a new vehicle." Okay, Hyundai's really coming out with a lot of new vehicles they right are. now, mainly towards the Ionic electric side, mm-hmm. but yeah. But this is going to be called the 2022 Terracon. Terracon. Sounds like Terragon, but... Yeah, it's strange. Terracon's actually... I don't know if it fits. Yeah, so they're coming out with the, the Santa Cruz, which is their truck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that truck is going to be unibody, based off of the Santa Fe. Yeah. And the Palisade. Mm-hmm. This new Terracon is going to be a body on frame. Really? Yep. Hmm. What do you think of that? I think that's a smart move. I mean, body on frame? Body on frame. What's that? So, unibody is pretty much the car is all one, one piece. Yep. So, yeah. like, uh, the Miata, when we took it off, mm-hmm. there was just that I, I beam and yeah. stuff, or the C yeah. frame. That was it. But if you were to take it off, like the Jimmy, you would have, like, a full-on frame. You'd still have a car underneath yep. it, pretty much. Oh. And you can separate the body and frame oh, okay. from each other. Yeah. Alex's frame is technically his body mm-hmm. on that Miata, and so it comes off together. It's all one piece. Okay. That's what we call a unibody. Yeah. Did I explain that right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. That makes sense. So, body think, on frame. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's... Uh, yeah. I mean, it's smart. Uh, that usually <clears throat> helps when it comes to reliability, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. For some reason, whenever they are not a unibody, it for some reason is, again, in my opinion, a little bit more reliable. And I think that's just because yeah. it's a lot easier to replace parts. Yep. So I guess that shouldn't really be reliability, but just the ease of changing parts. Yeah. This is almost turned into quick news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's fine. So let's just keep it going with this quick news type stuff. Jeep Grand Wagoneer, $100,000. Fail. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. I mean, you're, 
I understand the size is competing with the Suburban. It's competing with, but not I, even actually. Yeah, it's still smaller than that. Yeah, it's, com- well, I mean, it doesn't really have a whole lot of other size competitors yeah. in my in my opinion. Um, but price point, it's competing with the Suburban, the Yukon, all yeah. of those $100,000, the Escalade. Yep. All of those $100,000 SUVs that have no business being that expensive in the first place, but. But all of those are, I think they're all going to be more luxurious than this. This mm-hmm. is going to be. They're also probably going to be more reliable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. This is going to be competing with, like, the Porsche Cayenne and yeah. the Audi Q. The Q5? Seven. Six, seven, whatever, whatever numbers are on. Five is the small one. Seven is the bigger is one. Is the bigger one. Um, yeah, it's going to be competing with the these. The E-Pace. Yeah. The. Yep, the yeah. F-Pace. F-Pace. The Jag F-Pace, the Alfa Romeo. Well, the Stelvio is cheaper. Yeah, but, but still. the Giulia. The... Well, the Giulia is the car. Oh, yeah, that is. I, don't know. I think it's a bad price point, to be honest. Bring expensive. it down to 60. Mm-hmm. 60. People would go buy a Tesla over this, Model X. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see that a 10,000th Lamborghini Adventure was produced? I did see that, actually. I didn't. What the heck have I been? Uh, it's been two weeks. Yeah. It's 10, been a thousand bit. Aventador? Ten thousandth Aventador. Holy cow. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that's nuts. Mm-hmm. And that includes the Aventador, the Aventador SV, the Aventador S, I'm the sure, SVJ. SVJ. Yeah, that's all of the and models. And then but... all the roadsters. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, that's still there. not that bad, though. Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That's a lot. I didn't considering wow. the price point, considering yeah, yeah good for what them. they are. Yeah, that's pretty. But impressive. they are good. They're great cars, though. Oh, yeah. absolutely. If you can get them to start, <laughs> we're <Strat-Man has> that <laughs> issue yeah. all the time. I just read that the 2021 Hyundai Venue no longer available in the manual transmission. It had a manual <gasps> transmission. I guess so. I. But the crazy part is, didn't like, we talk about the Venue the other day? Where I was like. Is that even still around? Because yeah. it disappeared. We talked about it at the beginning of this year when we first started this podcast. And, and then really, within the matter of six months. Yeah, we just don't see them, don't hear about it, don't... No. Nope. I think this was a fail in their, mm-hmm. yeah. their part. I think it was like a good try. Yep. The size is a little weird. Why yeah. did they make just it a manual? I didn't even know it came in a manual. I didn't either. Uh, then again, just like two weeks ago, I didn't even know it was still around. Yeah. So... I it, thought that it was discontinued already. It came and went faster than, gosh. Okay. Let's see. Mercedes Benz was fined one point five billion dollars, one point five billion for cheating emissions. Oh, it's a Volkswagen scandal all yep. over again. Yep. <laughs> I Holy saw, cow! One point five billion dollars, though. It's a lot. Jeez. Let's see what else. The electric Hummer. We'll have a crab yeah, mode. I saw a that. What crab crab mode. mode? So you push a button and the tires and deflate. No, oh. your four wheel, all four wheels can steer, and oh. so you can legit just like pull like, into spots yeah. like sideways on what type deal. So when you turn this way, your, your front back. wheels go this way, but your back wheels go this way. So your car pretty much or, 360s so, in. It's like a monster truck. Well, no, no, monster trucks do have that. Yeah. yeah. That's not crab mode though. That's four wheel steering. Crab mode is where all four tires are the same way and you can go sideways, right? I, no, I don't know. Actually. I'm pretty sure. Probably. I I'll think Google that all four because are they, the same way and it crawls sideways. They wanted to do this not in competition with Rivian, but I don't remember if you guys remember when we first started this podcast, we talked about Rivian R1T, the truck having the, oh, what did they call it? The tank turn oh yes how it could just turn in place yeah all four wheels could steer yeah that's so what I'm, that is. I'm assuming that's Goes, kind of yeah, the same all way. of them go the same way so it does it'll cross so, sideways so and it's not like side it's like at a diagonal yeah is that going to come in handy or is that yeah just like, was that i think for? it's more of a gimmick but i mean maybe in certain parking situations it would have been better if they did it like this or even yeah. off road yeah. yeah i could see you got to admit that because it's a Hummer, it's still going to be a very large vehicle. Yeah. So it could come in handy, I'm sure, in certain instances where you're trying to parallel park or like squeeze into a tight parking space up 
I yeah. don't know. <laughs> You'll have to park right here. The parking spot's right here, so you can so just, you just crab walk crab into, walk it. into <laughs> it. I don't know. Kind of cool. So that's like their, I guess it's not really an Easter egg. That's more of a gimmick. Yeah. But, but along the lines of that, best Easter egg I have ever seen in any vehicle ever is the 2021 Ram TRX or the T-Rex. Yeah. Underneath the airbox, there's a T-Rex with a Raptor in its mouth. That's awesome. <laughs> this is what it really? looks like. Yeah. That's underneath the oh, air box. Oh, that is sick. Here's Ram taking that shots they need at to the like, Raptor. They need to throw that right in the middle of the I freaking know. dash. You know what they should do? Lift up that engine so you can see this Hellcat motor. And on the top of it, on, on the top, top of, your, of super, your supercharger, oh, is there's that. that. Or like an emblem in the back. Dude, that is sick. Let's pitch some ideas yeah, to and, them. Instead but of having the stupid this Denver is, map above you. That's no, Jeep. It was, yeah, it oh, was Jeep, Jeep and it was uh, <laughs> Chicago. That's or right. Like Detroit. That. Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Here's This is honestly like the biggest middle finger to Ford. Oh, absolutely. Oh, like That is so cool. This is just Dodge. Like <laughs> That is hilarious. It's a really good picture, too. Dude, it's that fantastic. Has some good detail. It does. <laughs> Way to go, Dodge. I, or Ram, excuse me. Ram. I'm that, they are taking shots that at That is Ford. hilarious. Good for them. I know. That makes the truck worthwhile just as is. Gosh, like I said, I think this... this Let's buy is... one. Dodge is <laughs> doing it right. <laughs> Did you hear the piece yeah. of wood? Ah, geez, you're almost falling back Man. There. Yeah, this is Dodge just killing the game. Good for them. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. He's ju- that's a what is that a bronco yo have you seen the the picture of got like Bugatti? three feet of air that time <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the oh yeah the it's per, the new, pure sport yeah pure, per sport they whatever. jumped it like a foot yeah it's like there's a bugatti? picture of the per sport yeah, bugatti sent it like bugatti posted it yeah oh, i'm finding it they sent a Holy cow! Yeah, and it—I mean, it, it's like it's a foot off the road. It's er, but yeah. still though. But yeah, you're talking like three million three point five million yeah. dollars, and they just set a foot off the road. <laughs> yeah, dude, Maybe. this is what Tesla needs. They need people like this that have guts and the balls to jump a brand new Tesla vehicle for real though, especially when it's three point five million dollars, something like that. But even like that Ford Bronco, yeah, they that just was like they got like three feet over that. Yeah. That had some air. It's fine. Okay, so while you're looking that up, came across this article. It says Bugatti may be sold to EV maker Remock. Really? So that's huge. So Volkswagen's going to own. Well, Well, Volkswagen owns Bugatti now. But they're selling it. Yeah, selling it to Remock. Which Remock makes the Concept 1 and now the Concept yeah. 2. Great cars. They are great, but I, I'm worried about that. What What's the future of Bugatti now? All electric. Do you think so? It'll have the same amazing looks, but be an all electric. I hope not. From the Concept 2. I hope not. That W16 is iconic. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would ruin it. Why would you buy... I mean, there's plenty of other reasons to buy a Bugatti... But if you don't have that W16, that four turbo yeah. W16, yep. what's the point of... I mean, they're meant to be wild, outlandish, mm-hmm. stylish. Yeah, you know? for sure. It's it's a, a You piece look of at art. it and you're like, oh, like yeah. you're you're somewhere in the world yeah. type deal. If it's an electric car, I electric technology is going to be the same from an expensive car to a cheap... Well, I mean, there's going to be small differences, yeah. but basically the same but it's gonna yeah it's not like how a, a w16 engine with four turbos is gonna cost significantly more than a four cylinder yeah. it also sounds like a jet when you're <laughs> driving it your thing turned off i i think you waited too long bugatti and remac remox should separate the two gosh yeah. that's sick i want to know who that bugatti test driver was because that she is was terrifying probably crapping himself. they launched that he's probably thing. doing like Buck sixty two, just jumping it off that. Yeah, just... he probably didn't even know it was right there, oh, or maybe they did know it was right there. The camera guys did, and they're like, uh, "Let's I watch wonder, it. Is there a video this? of this." I wonder watch where it Bugatti was. Bugatti Sheer on Pure Sport go slow motion airborne in Nardo track jump. Sick. <laughs> oh, is Pure Sport the one with the the X wing on the back? Yeah, 
Oh, I love that. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. $3.5 million, and there's going to be 60 of them. And they just, yeah, they jumped, just jumped one. Jumped <laughs> Is there a video? <laughs> What is our video? I don't know. I didn't see. I didn't well, scroll I down far enough. So well, it says watch. It says watch. So yeah. I just assumed there was. So right now that Bugatti Remock thing is just a rumor. Okay. If it's true, they need to keep them separate for sure. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, that's scary. Just scary. That's scary. Yeah, because all these supercar manufacturers or whatever are going to smaller engines. Too. I think that's just the way we have been going. We're all just moving to smaller yeah. engines. But you know, crap. I think it, it varies. Yep. Smaller engines have become not only more fuel efficient, but also more powerful as technology got yeah. better. So a four cylinder engine now is creating what an eight cylinder, more than what eight cylinder yep. engines were creating back in the 80s. Yeah. So, I mean, I have a 6.6 .6 liter V8. Yeah. Huge engine. Puts out like 175 horsepower, something like that. Yeah. Not very much. But yet, I have a 5.7 V8 that puts out 400. 400 yeah. So, and you're, there's the three cylinder in the... Uh, in the i8? Nope. What's the new one? Oh. The Koenigsegg Jamera. Oh, that's so right. So you were it's right. the Jamera. It was the Koenigsegg Jamera. Yeah. So they're coming out with the new car? And that's a three liter or what was it it's a three no it's a three cylinder three cylinder but it produces 600 horsepower yeah see that's more than my that's v8. insane what does it look like normal engine no you know, oh the car, the car. <laughs> oh yeah that's yeah. the one where the doors do this type of thing. yeah that's the that's the family car oh yeah oh, that's, that's right. the one that has the back seats three liter it's a three cylinder it's a three cylinder 600 600 horsepower yeah Nuts. Do we compare that to the I8? Yes, or the it had a a, No, I mean, the um, I8. Both. That is pretty much like it's, an I8, but a million times better because oh, yeah. the I8 is lame. Well, it's not even a car anymore. It's discontinued. Oh. I keep seeing the right. one. There's, yeah, I keep seeing the one by my apartment. There's one that lives yeah. here. I make fun of it all the time. There's also a, a G-Wagon that lives here now. I see that thing everywhere. That's cool. So carrying on with quick news, I want to talk about the new uh, Hyundai Tucson that they're the 2022 hyundai tucson yeah the one that was just unveiled mm -hmm. freaking lights are sick those, those front, front lights. lights i haven't even seen what the rest of the car really oh, looks like or the back well they've teased the front lights because like in the commercial that they had oh yeah you know the clouds would move into the same shape or the city landscape yeah. that kind of stuff it moved into that shape but i think they're so cool these front lights are insane look they look like wings yeah like they're crazy oh, yeah. yeah they're pretty cool they are i I definitely like the look of this Tucson more than any of the Tucson. It looks like it's Tucson. going towards like a an Audi look. Well, like here's the look. thing though. I think that Hyundai has made great strides. Hyundai and Kia both have made great strides in design and reliability and, and affordability. affordability, but still performance and all that yeah. kind of stuff. With a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Yeah. So we see companies moving fast. Mm-hmm. And then we see companies moving backwards like Nissan. Yeah. They also just released the new Frontier interior. Same. It's it's updated for sure. It doesn't have that same old, mm. but everything is still like that cheap plastic. Their touch or their entertainment screen or whatever yeah. has like this glossy glass over it. Mm. It just looks like it came from maybe 2000 nine or ten instead of <laughs> it's gonna be one of those ones that you have to like use your fingernail to touch yeah what was that i the can't remember capacitive. Capacitive. yeah no the resistive where the two pieces have to touch yeah oh. so you have to push super hard yeah. on the screen that's just what i'm imagining Gosh. that's what the tail lights look like oh that's actually pretty sick it's too cool. see those like, are cool come down and yeah. look like fangs look yeah it's gonna be like vampire car i don't know real. what i think about the rims though so October twentieth. Yeah, the wheels aren't my favorite. Yeah. October twentieth is when Hummer reveals everything, or oh, I mean, really? like the crab Ooh. mode and all that kind of stuff, and what it's actually going to look like yep. and everything. Oh, nice. So oh. we're gonna have to definitely watch that. Oh yeah. Let's um, see. I did come across some heartbreaking news that I'm kind of upset about, and that is the Ford Bronco won't ever come with a V eight. 
Oh, my mm. gosh. That does actually kind of suck. I'm sure it's just rumors, but... Again, but we're kind of moving to that, that phase. Like I just said, these smaller engines are producing the same amount of horsepower, yeah. so... As much as I would love to see it with a V8, uh, Ford's not really producing too many fantastic V8s yeah. anymore. So, yeah, reliable, fantastic yeah. V8s. I mean, don't get me wrong; they sound great, they look good, but they have issues. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just really think that Ford needs to. They need to put. I think that would that would help. They should they should give you that option. You can yep. get the six. You can get the eight. But it's like, even though we're moving to these smaller engines, looking for a vehicle for Sarah, I was just like, a V8 would be sick. Yeah. She's like, yeah, it would. <laughs> I mean, why not? I think I have three V8s. Nah, you should get you should get something that's huge. You should get get her like a... A V10. No, like an old uh, Jag XJ12. Get the 12-cylinder <laughs> XJ12. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I mean, they're $4,000. They're stupid so, cheap. I was just like, hey, what about a car? She goes, ah, I kind of want an SUV. I said, but just for like a year or two, let's get a car. And let's get the XF supercharged. Oh, yeah. You can find those so cheap. I know. They're stupid cheap. They're like 60,000 miles. They may not be super reliable, but... But if you keep it for a year and if it's still under it's warranty... Fun. I would just Heck make sure yeah. it's still under warranty. <laughs> yeah, because fixing it would not be, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons why a lot of you see a lot of them. Yep. Let's see. So we've else. talked about the market going to SUVs. Oh, oh I got Maserati something. is releasing another SUV. Uh, okay. The Levante is cool. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited, but I hate this name, and I don't even know how to say it. It's G R E C A L E, Gricale, Gricol. Greek kale? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually. Grishal? That's weird. It's kind of a stupid name. You gotta, you gotta come up with names that people can pronounce, but also stay away from names like <laughs> the Fisker Ocean. Yeah, we, we bring that up in every episode. This oh, is yeah. the crab mode. It's just like, like a little a gif of it. Yeah, yeah. just it going. That's it's pretty cool. cool. That is cool. Okay, back. All cool. right. Anything else with that? Nothing with that. No Maserati. Nope. I did see something about McLaren. Oh, I did. They're too. selling their headquarters building. Oh, did you? That's what you yes. saw. Yes, and it was. It's expecting to sell for two hundred and fifty million dollars, but it looks sick. It does look really? pretty sick. Yeah. Well, it's got that it's road a, around the. Yeah, it's got the water. The, the road around the water and the building. I don't know if you saw that, but the building's kind of a weird like teardrop shape. And then the pond that's right next to it or whatever, it makes the yin yang sign. That's, it's a, I think it's the coolest headquarters out there for yeah. sure. Look at that thing. What the heck? Yeah. Because they're hurting for money. Yeah, they are. Oh. But it's just like, that looks sick. Yeah. yeah. But that's sad. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, no, McLaren no. can't be going out. <laughs> So, well, I mean, thankfully it's just their headquarters building, so that doesn't really have anything to do with their production. Well, it does, but yeah. doesn't affect the actual production process. But I don't it's scary. That is. Because, I mean, it's McLaren. Even though I, I they're, love they're McLaren. Not, they're not reliable. No, I love McLaren. I, I want them to stay around. Mm-hmm. I do too, just because of... They have mastered uh, looks. Oh, yeah. yeah. They have some of the best looks. The, their cars look so good. Speaking of, there's a 675 LT that is down the road from my house. That's so At sick. that dealership that has the Huracan, that had the, the Gallardo. Sick. They now have a 675 LT, and it drove past me. And the guy, was he was at a, a red light, just launched that thing. Heck, yeah. And... My wife was behind me in her car, and I wish that oh, actually she does have a dash cam. I should pull that footage because you just see my arms out the window doing this, <laughs> look, look at this. and then my face is probably like because <laughs> it just it sounded so good. Oh, yeah. But yeah, he like mashed that thing. Just, Whoa! Well, yep. So but yeah, a six seventy five LT. I I wasn't expecting to see. 
that just because there's yeah. not very many 675 LTs mm-hmm. out. There's 500. Tavares has one. Tavares has one. His newest videos are pretty entertaining, too. I Is that know. the one with the exhaust that come out the back? No, that's the no, that's 600. 600. Okay. 675 is the long tail. Oh yeah. 650s, but yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, there's 500 of them, and it was 204,000. Ooh. Yeah, 204,995. It's a 2016. Only has 3,000 miles on it. Let's buy it. <laughs> that's actually that's a that's really a, good that price. That is a good deal. That's a really good price. Dang. So. Well, good. Anyway. Okay. Well, speaking of like supercars and all that kind of stuff, um, we will be next week. We will be filming from this. What what was it called? Wings and Wheels. Wings and Wheels. Or Wheels and Wings. Wheels and Wings. I don't know, but all I know, wings are like there's planes and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm I do chicken wings. Yeah. So (laughs) sounds good. But there will be planes and all that kind of stuff, which is cool. I like them. Yeah. But there's also going to be a lot of supercars. And I'm pretty sure there's Special also going to be a hypercar. And anyway, it's a an airport that they closed down. Mm-hmm. Um, Just here, like a rural one. Yeah. Super here, tiny. Mm-hmm. Here in our, our local area. But they close it down and then supercars get on that runway and just gun it and just see how fast they can go. And we went, how many years ago was that that we went like to? Two one? years ago. Mm-hmm. Two or three years ago. Yeah. We went and it was uh what ended up winning? It was that twin turbo it was like GTR. GTR. GTR that was just did two oh eight, yeah. yeah. hundred and eight miles yeah. per hour. Yep. But yeah, so expect different footage yep. for that. It'll be a little weird, but we'll be eating wings while we watch wings and listen to cars and they have an autocross too, which I think yeah. would be kind of cool that to see. That would be kind of cool. I want to see him autocross a Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> just mean, because what is autocross? They build like this little track yeah out of cones you just go around okay. as fast as you can because that's what i was thinking like, my mom was saying racing or something. yeah have you seen when uh chris took the burnt account out and they had the other two apocalypse cars no do you even watch youtube bro i'm not really beast for built that much oh, oh, no oh. you're not wearing a beast for built hat oh you're wearing a beast for built hat you got cleus mccleus cleus hell yeah bro anyway but yeah, that's but the, what we'll be doing. The last event is the supercar attack or something like that. The runway attack, yeah. yeah. Is that what that one is? Yeah. Yep. So we're going to go eat some wings, watch wings, listen to cars. Watch, watch cars. the Bugatti wing come up at 60 miles an hour. We were talking over. earlier this week and gosh, there are some people around here with some Panameras that are gut. I mean, they just, they've got guts and they take those yeah. things faster oh, than... Yeah most supercars yeah around here for and sure. so i said if if a panamera comes and beats strad starts beating supercars in high speed runs i'm gonna call them out be like come oh, on yeah. come on really i mean a panamera beat you for real but like he probably had his kids in the back i know <laughs> <laughs> honestly if i i want a panamera like I said, a couple of episodes ago or last, I don't even know. But, we talk about it every but episode. I freaking want a Panama. They're quick. They are. They're so quick. They're cool. So we yeah. need to start a list. Panama. TRX. Chrysler Crossfire. Yes. I kind of want one of those. For the wing. Plymouth up, Prowler. Know. Those are expensive yeah, still. Yeah, they are. I actually. Are they? Kennedy's, oh, still like. They're still in like the 20s. Kennedy saw one. She actually knew what it was, so she texted me, sent a picture of it, and she's like, "I saw a Plymouth Prowler." I was like, first off, surprised you do that, yeah, yeah. holy <laughs> crap!" Especially because Plymouth Prowlers don't have any badging on them, except for the front, it has the Plymouth symbol. Oh, she probably just googled on, weird looking car. She could have found stupid, it. Stupid, funny looking yeah, car. She could have. <laughs> Open wheel. The back doesn't have anything. Um, but anyway, so it, it sparked. I was like, "Man, maybe I'll look for like a slingshot or something like that." <laughs> slingshot. He does a slingshot oh, I did, motion. I did this. Oh, I, I thought I saw this. I was doing a counting, a oh. slingshot, or yeah, something kind of unique. And so I was like, I'll, I'll look at Plymouth Prowlers. They're ugly, but they're cool. Yeah. Nah, they're still like twenty five thousand dollars. They're expensive. What's that? It's not a Suzuki. It's the the Polaris one. Nope, it's the all plastic. It's really ugly off road vehicle that we were talking about. Oh, the oh, what is that? Um. Oh, I don't know. You guys were saying I should get it. The yes. V-Cross. <laughs> the yeah. V-Cross or whatever. The, what I is think it? it's sick. Who makes it? 
uh, Suzuki. Yeah. Is it Suzuki yeah. Via Cross? It's the Suzuki. No, it's the Isuzu. Isuzu, Isuzu. Isuzu Via Cross. Isuzu Via Cross. Dude, that thing's cool. What There's, are you talking about? How much are they, though? Uh, <laughs> they're actually very really cheap. Yeah, are they? They there only was... made, like, how much did I say? Like 7,000, 10,000 of them? There's two of them for sale on car gurus, but I think, like, yeah, I across think, the country. I think they were like 10,000 or less. Oh, dang, we should get one. Uh, for real, though, that's it's a rare. rare. That's a rare vehicle. They've made more Aventadors than they have Viacrosses. Ken- <laughs> they did. Holy crap. <laughs> Kennedy did tell me that if I'm going to get an ugly car, that I should get a Subaru Baja, not a Viacross. I love the Baja. Though. I do, too. I found some good ones recently. Anyway, that's off topic. We're, we're off the oh, sorry, We're, we're going to get them. that Isuzu. What? So Sorry, there's three of them. $4,000. Yes. For one in. Uh, I, I, I got to see how many. VA. I gotta see. So it's in Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Hundred sixty thousand miles. Will it make it back to Utah? That's the real question. Not. Yeah. Is Suzu Bay cross? Dang. We gotta see how many they They're made. They're so freaking cool, though. Um. I They're, legit. They're crazy looking. I know. It's like. Oh. But you don't that see had a them. number. Uh-uh. 5,958. So they really did make more Aventadors than they have Vehicrosses. But only 4,153 were sent to the United States. You have Wait, a one of 4,000 car. 4,000? Yeah, or one of 5,000 in the world, one of 4,000 in the we United States. We should take States. one of those to a car show. Sick. They'll be I like, know. what is that's, this ugly that's thing? That's rarer than half of cars, more than half of cars at cars. Theoretically, we should see more Aventadors... Yeah. Then we should be exactly, crosses. yeah. No one on YouTube has a Vehi cross. <laughs> uh, so going along with all this YouTube news and stuff like that, Burlacker's rap. Yes. So Burlacker wrapped his truck, and he's like, "Earth tone, Earth tone." I knew it was gonna be purple. Yeah. I, he's done that in the past with his uh, GT three fifty. Mm-hmm. What do you think of the wrap? It's sick. I you seen haven't it. seen it. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. So I don't even know if there's pictures of it. Uh, I'm yeah. not sure. So it Does is, the thumbnail not have a picture of it? No. No, it's ah, all blacked out. Dang it. So it is purple plaid. Yeah. Plaid? Plaid. That is Purple sick. plaid. That sounds ugly, but sounds amazing. It's... At first I was like... <gasps> Whoa, like, like overstimulating your senses? Because yeah. you don't see plaid on a truck. No. Oh, uh, yeah, find it. Okay, no, I'll like, just watch the video look, later. Yeah, but, look like, I was just like, oh... And I was like, that's actually really oh, cool. Man, I'm super excited to see it then. But I was got... waiting for the the blight or not blight. 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 Bright blue with the orange. Yeah. Like the gulf or whatever. Yeah, the, oh, the yeah. gulf uh, yeah. colors and stuff like that. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. But you have to pay to have that. Oh, you do? Yeah. You can have just someone wrap it. the uh, 4GT colors as mm-hmm. well? Yeah. 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 So that gulf livery or the gulf colors, so yeah. you have to pay to have that. What if you do it like You can do it off. slightly off. But I would be careful because they may still come after you. That's true. It is Ford. Yeah. So I I started thinking, got the wheels turning. And I was like, you know, you see, Uh I think the newest trend, I uh I was right. You see the newest trend of let's wrap our whole fleet a certain color. So we've Uh, seen it with like uh, Street Speed 717 doing that. The blue. blue. The the rapid blue. The rapid blue. We've seen it with Stradman and Burlacker doing purple. Yeah. Let's do it. Us. Okay. What are we going to do? Nardo Grit. Just kidding. Nah, it's kind of boring. It is boring. wild. You know, rapid blue, straight up like the amethyst. I think we should do um, the, personally, I think we should do the Porsche Ruby Red. That pink. It's like a pinkish yeah. red. But so I the, love that Solomon color. Yeah, the Exotics kind of has that now. Yeah. What's the teal one then? Porsche also has a teal that's do they? Awesome. What about the 720, the volcanic red or whatever? Volcanic orange? Papaya Spark. Papaya Spark. That's That'd, a good one. It would be pretty cool. But I started thinking, and I was just like, what color should we do? Actually, he already has blue. Never mind. Voodoo blue. That's Voodoo what, blue is good. I love that. I was actually thinking that. Great color. Or it's so bright. Yeah, yeah like you can see it coming from miles is, away. It pops. Voodoo blue just, I feel, doesn't fit on every car. No, it doesn't. But it's, neither does purple. Well, think of my Challenger, though. In voodoo blue, it would look would, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would like that. So, But it's I, not out there. You don't see it. Or Toyota also makes that. It, I haven't really seen it on a whole lot. I've seen it on Tacoma's and FJ's. 
Oh, um, that. But that, like that blue. Like, ashy blue. Yeah. I love that That's color. That's kind of cool. I think we should do something like that. Man, I can't find this. Or let's just scrap all that. And I know that they have white carbon wrap. Let's just wrap I've seen every that. car in white I've carbon fiber. I've seen that. I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. Or wood. Let's make it look like <laughs> yeah. just wood. <laughs> Speaking of, did you, did you hear um, Tavares taking shots at DDE yeah, recently? Yeah, I thought that recently? was funny. I was like, this is perfect. Yeah. I love this. I can't remember why. But the the fake beef between them. Yeah. I think it's hilarious. And I can't remember why, like, what it was that he was like, because I, I'm not DD. Oh, he's like. I don't need all this, the horsepower. Yeah, he's like, like this engine's capable of having a 1,000 horsepower, but I'm only going to, like, top it off at 700 because I'm not DDE. Yeah. And then he, like, looks at the camera. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> Pretty funny. That was um, Tavarish? Yeah. Yeah. It's hilarious. What else? Um, Beast for Bill's boat exploded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's getting... Beast for Bill's boat exploded. Yep. Uh, no, he's just... He's contemplating doing an engine swap, two engine swaps, I guess, on it. Yeah. Or just rebuilding the diesel engines. He, I'm sure he didn't hurt that diesel engine too bad. He should no. just repair it. Though, I mean, that's like military-grade diesel engine. Yeah. That thing was huge. I mean, he hinted at throwing some Lamborghini engines. I, I just don't want gas engines in that thing. Yeah. Especially, I mean, that's a good performance engine, but to stay at 9,000 RPMs all the time or whatever it yeah. would be. And and like we talked about, boat and these engines that go into boats or heavy machinery are meant to just have a lot of force put on them and yeah. run at high RPM constantly. Oh, yeah. And if you do that with a Lamborghini engine, you're going to have issues. Yeah, for that's sure. a lot of heat that that's oh, putting yeah. off, and so I I don't know if it's really going to work but out. But just it, imagine that V2 oil. I know. Don't get me wrong. Two flames. Two. The best oh, sounding yeah. boat out there ever. Oh yeah. But it it'll but have yeah. issues. Is not Lamborghini making a boat? Or like no, they about making a boat. They have yeah. in the past. They've like put engines in boats. Like he talked about in that um, someone's yacht or something yeah, like that had twin but, uh, Lamborghini engines in it or yeah. something. But at the same time, I don't know if they'd ever really get into it. That's mm-hmm. just an expensive thing to... Boats are just expensive yeah. things. But would you watch that, though? <gasps> I don't know. Watch him put two... I mean, I, I, mean, I would it. watch it just because I watch every episode, but I would just feel so bad. Yeah. That could go into a different project car yeah. that yeah. would be much better. Much more suited. Okay, so did you see that he posted, like, thanks to Raid for fueling my Lamborghini addiction? Oh, yeah. He posted, it said Lambo. It was the Lambo Mm -hmm. writing on a red car. Really? I didn't see that. And that red, just seeing the red, it's a Gallardo, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. He should get a Countach. I know. He needs to get a Diablo. No one has Diablos. The only Diablo on YouTube that I'm aware of is Rob Dom's. Yeah. His yellow one. Which I don't Dang. see much anymore because no. he's always doing his RX-7. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, Ry Phipps. Uh, the guy that is in DDE every now and then that owns like Lamborghini Kelowna or whatever. It's not really a real dealership, but he has, he's a Lamborghini collector and he's got quite a few. Oh, He's got a Countach. Cool. Two, I believe. Ugh. But anyway. Rude. Anything else, YouTube boys? Um we can't talk about Goon Squad anymore. They have moved on to a renovation <laughs> channel. Yeah. They're no longer they don't, they a car don't do cars. <laughs> I mean I understand they're they're like doing this work for that type of content yep. in the future, but it's entertaining still, but yeah, there's just nothing to talk about. No, it's they're building decks and stacking stones. Yeah, they've become a renovation channel. That's so. pretty cool, though. It it's is. like so they put it up and it looks like garbage, but then they do something to it and it just makes it look. Yeah, good. like it's still absolutely entertaining. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's, it just doesn't quite fit our podcast. Yeah, <laughs> brothers talk about homes and uh, remodeling, homes and renovations. <laughs> Beast for builds 
cars got broken into for two yeah. yeah i saw that the fj he, he needs to freaking move yeah. he does this he's had his tires stolen yep multiple times his truck's been broken into yeah like, someone broke into the raptor and the fj gosh so let's let's get him out of there bring him and oscar and and kyle kyle down to utah and chelsea <laughs> and chelsea down to utah she can teach school down here is yeah. she a teacher yeah she's I a think school so, teacher yeah. history teacher he said it before i can't remember teacher She's a teacher. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Driving a GTR to score a Lotus or whatever she drives. Yeah. What does she still? Well, she drove the BMW. She drove the wrecked M5, it, wrecked it. And then she fixed started, it, wrecked it again. <laughs> and then she started driving. She started driving the Evora, Did I she? believe. So does she still drive the Evora? I don't know. That's sick. He, should, he needs to update us on that. I want to know what she's driving. Yeah, for she real. She takes the Apocalypse car to, what, to school. The <laughs> Infinity Jeep. She should take the yeah. old Infinity G35 that he did. He's got a ton of cars. We haven't seen anything from the BRZs. No. We haven't seen anything from... Of course, we haven't seen the Avora in a while. I haven't seen the Avora in a while. I totally for, sold all of them. I forgot that he had a... Uh, now I forgot. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, see? I don't even know what he has. We don't see it much. What does he have? He has the vet cart. Yep. He has... Does he have a Huracan? Yep. He GTR. has the Burntacon. Well, he's got a Burntacon and a regular has... Huracan. Does he have a GTR? Yep, he's got a he GTR. He has a GTR. Because remember, he tried to do a that's drift right. and it broke it. Maybe that's the one that I was thinking about that he like showed the other day. And I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah. I forgot you had that. Garage Does he time. have an Aston? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. He yeah, has he has the, the Aston Martin that looks so good but yeah it doesn't drive <laughs> yeah, don't i don't see it drives the fj drives the raptor he hasn't brought the fj up in a video i wonder in a if while. Chelsea's driving the fj could but i saw that in the in the boat video i was like oh he still yeah. i thought he was selling it i have no idea she's probably driving it i don't even know what he has anymore i don't either does he know what he has anymore <laughs> probably not he probably walks in the backyard and he's like i've got a camaro back like, here oh, shoot. <laughs> anyway who's that guinea is this <laughs> Someone left their Lamborghini here. Wait, oh, that's mine? Uh, Cletus. Race Cletus. Week. Race Week. Has been fantastic. <laughs> I love his Race Week Race content. Week is so good. Yeah. Um, Dell Truck, transmit or not transmission, clutch gone. 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 He was hitting 11 seconds. He was shifting from first to third. Oh, my gosh. And using nitrous. Uh, when he and he said that, um, I was like, full send. What's his name? Kevin. Kevin, yeah. yeah, it was Kevin the tuner. Kevin, Kevin, that's hard to <laughs> shift from first to third. Yeah, he. Yeah. I mean, he would go straight first to third, crazy and nitrous the yeah. whole time, and he was still doing pretty. And good. then Ruby is going too fast. I love it, but good. I love that they don't care. Uh -huh. no. They're just like full send. Who cares? Well, at this point, they can't catch up to the podium. The guy on the the guy oh. who's like they said was number two right now had he, they're shooting for an eight five. Yep, and he got exactly an eight five it was like eight five oh oh seven yeah like how close is that Crazy. there's no way you're gonna yeah no and that that's the dude in second place the other Gosh. dude has like oh oh sevens and oh oh nines but he's had yeah. multiple of them anyway so ruby's going like Too eight thirty fives <laughs> it's okay I think uh, it's cool. and leroy was having some wastegate issues or something yeah he was having some sort of i issue. can't remember what it was but yeah he was gonna try. I think he's still gonna try and hit a seven on the last, yeah, uh, on the last course that they do. And I guess we'll find out today, because it'll be. It's probably out now. Probably. But I think they should just turn Ruby up to her max and just full. Oh save. yeah. Oh yeah. Ruby and Leroy. Let's just see what they can both do. Yeah. Leroy, we know can hit in the sevens. Yep. Oh my goodness. Ruby hasn't hit sevens yet, but Ruby close. can. She's getting close. Ruby yeah. can. Anyway. With that big turbo. That huge turbo. Savage Garage is coinciding. The egg is broke. The, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sorry. These cars are not reliable at yeah, all. No. And with how hard Randy drives those, they're both the Pagani break. and the coinciding are always broken. Are both broken? Yeah. 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 That Pagani is going to be constantly broken because it's just not a very good car. No. Yeah. Solomon had are, issues with his. Again, like we've talked about, these are not um, mass produced, yeah. big name cars. These are. Uh, like one-offs, yep. more or less. Well, could you imagine, like, 
so I'm restoring a, a 78 Jimmy and getting parts for those piece of cake. Oh, it's stupid cheap. Yeah. Could you imagine buying parts for a Pagani where there's only one place that you can buy it? Yeah. And they they may not be making them anymore. Yeah. So they have to and like. And they only make a couple hundred a year. Yeah. yeah crazy. Yeah. That's going to be rough. Trying to get a part, any part at all for like a Pagani or a Koenigsegg or. No, I. Night? I said, I. Oh, oh right I, now? Yeah. Okay. Right, we're going. Well, thank you guys for listening or watching. If you are watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Nice. <laughs> Oh, you didn't uh, do it. <laughs> you can listen oh, to our boy. podcast on iTunes, Spotify, or anywhere podcasts are found. And you can follow our Instagram and Facebooks at Brothers.Cars. Okay. Sweet. See you. Peace. See you next week. <laughs> see you next week. That was very exciting. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> see you. Next week will be awesome. We'll see you next week. <laughs>